Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to do a video here regarding Final Cut and Premiere Pro. Got some things that I really want to talk about. First of all, I wanted to talk about a YouTube response sent to me, one of my videos. Let me show you what it looks like here. Um, it's the Premiere Pro versus Final Cut video. I'm going to pause the sound here. And down here it says, the main problem with Premiere Pro is the bang for the buck. For what Premiere Pro alone costs, you can get the whole Final Cut Studio suite. And you certainly cannot compare the whole suite with Premiere Pro or even Premiere and After Effects alone. I find this completely a hypocrisy. Not too long ago, Eric Meek came on and said the same thing. Well, for $9.99, you get the whole Final Cut Pro suite, but for $7.99 for Adobe, you only get Premiere Pro. Okay, so there's a couple things here. Number one, when you buy Premiere Pro, it's just not a video editing program that you get. You get not only Premiere Pro, but you get Encore, which is a DVD, um, very robust DVD creating program. You also get On Location, which is a very nice uh, tool, a program, that allows you to adjust white balance and uh, make sure all the the color balance in the project is proper allows for on the fly recording and uh, monitoring of uh, clips etc and uh, you also get the Adobe Media Encoder that comes with it which is a very powerful queuing tool to be able to encode videos now here's the second thing the second part of this that I find completely hilarious is all the Mac people out there will justify the cost of a Mac being 30 to 50 percent higher than what a PC of the same parts cost. And so what I'm saying is you get an i7 chip and you get 8 gigs of RAM and you do the same thing on the PC side, exact hardware for hardware, and Eric will say it's not the same hard. it is the same hardware, exactly. It's just Mac packages it up nicer than the PCs. But yet Mac fanboys will easily say it's worth paying the extra 30 to 50 percent for uh, the Mac over the PC because of what you get. But yet, you say spending $7.99 to just get Premiere Pro and you might as well just buy, buy the, the Final Cut package because you get more is hilarious. You guys are so hypocritical when it comes to that. So I wanted to point that out first and foremost that it's hilarious. Okay, the next thing. As you can see, I've got my Premiere Pro timeline open, and what I've done is I've created a timeline with an intro. As you can see this intro here, and you see this lower thirds here? I even created this lower thirds. I created it in live type, and I'm going to show you something funny in a few minutes. So I created this, this uh, whole intro in live type, and as you can see, this red line here denotes it's not rendered not rendered and it goes into a backpacking video okay so when I come up here and it's not rendered I haven't touched any of the rendering and I push the play button it plays as you can see it's playing clearly no problems at all fades out comes into my backpacking video still playing unrendered okay you've seen that now let's go over to Final Cut keep in mind I'm gonna preface all of this by saying Number one, I've got the low-end Mac uh, that just was released, so it's not a, it's not an Eric Meek 27-inch i7 quad-core 8 gigabyte RAM my Mac. Mine's a low-end Mac, but I've got both Premiere Pro and Final Cut Express put on both of them. Now, I'm running the exact same clip, but with just less. Uh, things in the top here for this. So if I push play, and as you can see this blue line denotes that it's some of it's rendered, okay? I push play, and there's no music on this right now. And you can see it's a little bit jerky, it stops. I'm still playing, I'm not touching anything. And then you see this screen. Warning, dropped frames. One or more of your frames were dropped during playback. Now, I understand what this is about. This is just simply saying, hey, you're, you're going to have to adjust some of your compression and stuff like that because your CPU or hard drive may not be fast enough to accommodate for that. Fully understand all of that. And Eric and everybody out there that loves Final Cut can bust my chops and say, well, your Mac sucks. It's a bad comparison. 
but I'm using both video editors on the same system and with Premiere Pro, the exact same timeline. I have music in mind on this one. Music in this one plays real time, no freezing, no hesitating, nothing. Clear, crystal clear as a bell, plays through. I'm not rendered any of it. So before you say, hey, he's rendered some of it, wrong answer, none of it has been rendered. And Final Cut, well, it's not so lucky there. If I want to play again, well, it takes some time, chugs through it, <sighs> waiting, and then we go, and it's still waiting. Try again, okay, no go. Gonna get another drop frames here in a sec. There it is. Another thing I want to show you, I'm gonna come to the part that's unrendered. Now I can scrub through the timeline with my mouse, back and forth, no problem. Now watch what happens when I try to play it. Oops, unrendered. Well, it's unrendered. I understand that you have to render it, I get it. Premiere Pro, play, look at that, unrendered. Oops, I see people hiking now. Final Cut, no such luck, unrendered. Now, if I rendered this timeline, of course I could watch it real time. But my point is, you don't have to do that in Premiere Pro. You only watch whatever, and it's unrendered. And before anybody says, you know, your system sucks or whatever, I'm using both on the same system. So if this is not a clear indicator why you would ever want to buy Premiere Pro, this would be a good one right here. Premiere Pro, in my opinion, has a vastly superior editing system. And yeah, you pay $7.99 for Premiere Pro, so why don't you get more bang for your buck? Wrong. Do you want to have more bang for your buck by buying Final Cut? You're wasting your money, in my opinion, simply because Final Cut doesn't render nearly as good in real time at all as Premiere Pro. And keep in mind, friends, that I created the lower third of this in live type, which comes with Final Cut, okay? And it's having problems rendering in real time. So if I come down here and try to start it, you can see it's chugging away. It starts, it stops, and it'll chug away some more, as you can see, and then drop frames. I, I don't even know what more to say about this. I love the lower thirds here. I thought it looked great. When I come to Premiere Pro, I'm using the same lower thirds, same lower thirds, and look, it plays it perfectly. Plays it right there. I'll take it back to the very start. Very start. Boom, comes in, Premiere Pro, CS4 tutorial. Perfectly smooth, no problems. Just as you would see it in real time but it's not rendered. I don't think I have any more to say about this. I know I'm gonna get some flame comments and things of that nature. If that's the case, you know, at least I call, be respectful about it. Don't be calling anybody names. I'm not gonna call anybody names. Let's be respectful to each other. We can debate this and perhaps I'm missing something. If I'm missing something and I've said something that's incorrect, please make a comment, send me an email response via YouTube or create your own video. I look forward to hearing from all you Final Cut guys and Premiere Pro guys out there. Thanks for watching.